star signs. It's been a long night. Bear with me, okay? <laughs> Welcome to your weekly elemental reading. Water signs. This week we're going to um we're going to start with the four agreements deck uh by Don Miguel Ruiz based on the book The Four Agreements. Um these are going to be general reads. I've been doing a lot of love readings lately and uh to be honest, I started to get really bored. <laughs> so I decided for the element videos, we're going to just get off the topic of love. If you're looking for a love reading, come back next Monday for the 12 Zodiac sign videos because those will all be love themed, looking at love and relationships. I tend to be somebody that likes to really delve into issues with self. Um... I guess let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. When I'm dealing with myself and I'm alone, I do want to know about my love life, I guess. Yeah. But when I'm dealing with other people, I get a little bit like bored. Does that make sense? Anyway, I like to be more, I like, I'd like to be less superficial. I guess, I guess love relationships aren't superficial. There's nothing superficial about an intimate relationship, but let me get into the motherfucking reading. Okay, let me start your timer. These are going to be a little bit shorter this week because I've been doing a lot of readings and I need to take, need to take care of my body and my mind, okay? Water signs. Let's do it. Okay, let me cut the deck. Whatever's on top. Yes, and, yes, indeedy. Oh, okay. That's funny. That's funny. Look, look, look. I said I was going to get away from love stuff. And here it is. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you will express that love in your interactions with others. And that action will produce a like reaction. Yes. So we start with ourself. Being honest and true to ourself and work our way out will then attract uh, much deeper fulfilling relationships, I feel like, okay? All right, water signs. Let's get a temperature for how you guys are doing, what you're going through. Nope, that is just not happening too many there. Water signs. Water signs. One more. All right. Water signs. Water signs. Water signs. Water signs. Water signs. Water signs. Somebody's trying to get clear about something that's happening. Let me see here. Hmm. A lot of swords. So there's issues with communication and people maybe not perceiving the information correctly. Um, so we got this page of swords here. Page, pages are messengers. Okay. They are, they bring in some sort of information. Okay. They're also in the development phase. They're new and it's also a sword. So we're talking about perception, how we hear information, how we see it, uh, and how we communicate it. Okay. So you may be, somebody here may be trying to communicate information about the hard work that they've done. Maybe you feel like your hard work has not been received properly. You feel like maybe you've done a lot of hard work, but somebody else isn't seeing it like that. Down the center, we have this, sorry guys, 
I'm only human. Sometimes I got to yawn. I have this mental thing about the yawning. It feels very unprofessional to yawn on camera, but you know, I'm, I'm only human. Sorry guys. King of Wands reverse comes down the center. So this is somebody with kind of volatile energy, somebody like that siren, somebody very f fiery, uh, hot temper. Um, okay. What are you mad about? Get some additional information. What are you, what's the anger about? What, what's the rage or the, what, what is this about? What are we angry about? What are we angry about? King of Wands reverse. What is the King of Wands reverse about for water signs, please? King of Wands reverse for water signs. There is a situation here, this Five of Swords at the end of the reading, at the end of this row here that indicates, um, you know, somebody taking, uh, taking advantage. So there maybe may have to do with that. Somebody is being, um, this is kind of shady. Okay. What's the King of Wands here, spirit? What's the King of, reversed King of Wands? What's that about? The Muse. Number 15. This is a major arcana card in this deck. The Muse. The Muse plays a song of a, a of, of, oh, of, 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 of upliftment and imagination. The petals of inspiration drift upon the wind, filling the air with light and creativity. This card shows a time of very heightened resourcefulness and inventiveness for you. Any creative project, which this is about creativity, new or old, can receive exceptional energy now, both from you and the, from the universe. Call to the spirit muses and let them join you and the creator within to lift your project to the skies. Yeah, so perhaps, like I said earlier, you may have been working on something really hard and it may feel like your, your action, what you've done on this project wasn't received well. They, they perceived it. You know, you thought you did a really, you worked really hard and you did a really good job. Um, but maybe they're not seeing it. Or somebody's taking your hard work for granted. The King of Wands reversed. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, this, 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 the Muse card, if, if you look at it reversed, is very similar to this King of Wands reverse. Saying if you've been trying to give birth to a creative project, which he would be. The labor pains are probably not over, regardless of the type of endeavor, from a new business to a poem. You may be feeling caught in the proverbial writer's block with your ingenuity at a low ebb. Even if in inspiration does trigger your creative action, there may be outside obstacles that hold your project at bay. The outside obstacles is, you know, people not recognizing you or this taking advantage type of feel here. Um, to the right of the reverse King of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords, um, which talks about spirit coming in and trying to help you clear up any of that mental fog. Okay. Followed by the Five of Swords though. So, so spirit can come in and, and try and help you as, as much as until they're blue in the face. I don't think spirit gets blue in the face, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but if you can't see the help, if you can't receive the aid, if you continue to perceive or view it as, uh, oh, that's not, you know, blah, 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 kind of, you know, bypassing it, then, then, it, then, then so, so shall be it. You know what I'm saying? Four of pentacles reverse. So this is when it up when it's he's upright he feels very comfortable and abundant in the resources that he's built he uh takes care of his loved ones and he feels he just feels comfortable 
He's in a state in his life where... Sorry. Where he feels at ease. But he comes reverse. So this is a time in your life where you're feeling a little bit stressed, okay? This is an uncomfortable time in life. You don't feel like you can just sit back and relax. You may even have this kind of mentality of like hoarding, hanging on really tightly so that um, out of fear, okay? Fear of losing, losing what you worked for. All right, let's get some additional messages here. Water signs, please. Yeah, water. You got a lot of air energy this week, water, water signs. A lot of air in here. Water signs, please. Water signs, please. Water signs, please. Water signs, water signs, water signs. Okay, do I wanna, no, let's just cut it three times and pick the one off the top. Hmm, the lovers. Either this is uh, about this, it could be uh, di um, disjointed. The devil, rebirth. Oh, this is death. Sorry, death. The lover's death. Oh. And two of swords. Okay, so there seems to be a situation here. You got the lovers with some sort of ending combined with two of swords, which two has to do with couples, right? Two. One, two, man and woman, woman and woman, man, man, whatever. Um, it's a choice. It's also a choice and a crossroads for you. Uh, seems like there was an ending here. I don't know if this first part has to do with the second part. You will know. Um, let's get, let's pull the bottom of the deck and see what else there is here. But it definitely feels like there was a very hot and heavy, passionate relationship that came to an end um, in order to bring new stuff coming in. Uh, followed by the two of swords, which cause you to have to make some choices about w where, where, where do I go from here? Okay. Followed by the seven of cups, seven of cups, seven of cups, seven of cups. Sorry. Ah, okay. So this ending may have kind of, um, triggered for you <clears throat> a time when you've had to kind of escape into your mind. Okay, traditional meaning for this card is like illusion, delusion. So you may have had to kind of felt felt like you've had to kind of escape into your mind in order to cope with this period of time. Okay, Pull some more cards for air signs. Hmm, some decks just smell so good when they're new, especially. You know the smell? Air signs, please. Ooh, this is a water signs video. I, I hope I haven't been saying that like for too long. Water signs, please. Water signs, please. Water, 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 water signs, please. Okay, let me just cut it. You need to cut it. Okay. Water signs, please. Princess of Sacred Circles. So the princess of sacred circles in this deck would be the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles in the Tarot is a very, is the stable, secure, uh, enduring knight of the deck. Okay. He is long lasting. Okay. It, it shows Princess of Sacred Circles is something that will last a lifetime, okay? This is a situation that, so especially if we're leaving an old love relationship or we feel creatively stifled um, in some for some reason or we feel that maybe somebody took advantage of us, um, 
we're looking at a situation moving forward that is going to be quite yummy. Five of sacred circles. So sacred circles and sacred circles. Pentacles and pentacles. The five of sacred circles is about missing the miracle. It's about overlooking all the blessings and, and the abundance that we have right in front of us. Okay, it's about walking past us. It's, it's about walking past it. It's about missing it. So they just want to remind you um, not to do that. Set of Seven of Wands, this is about defending and protecting what's yours, okay? Don't get so caught up in needing to protect yourself. Protection of self is a kind of overrated. Uh, because when you, we have faith in the unknown, we have faith that we're going to be taken care of by spirit. We have faith in, in what we're doing on this planet, um, even just within ourselves and faith in, in, in something greater than us as well, that it's all going to be taken care of. So don't get so caught up in feeling like this kind of uh, protected, protective, like kind of paranoid um, energy. Don't get caught there. Ah, followed by the Empress. Yes, be more like this Empress. Gosh, just super fertile, fruitful, and abundant. Um, she's said to be pregnant in this deck. So just feeling really grounded and yummy and juicy in who you are. Okay, water signs. Thank you. I know that was short but sweet. I love you and I appreciate you for watching. I'll see you back here on Thursday for Speak Her Truth and then back on Instagram twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays at Grateful underscore Drake for additional readings. Okay? All right, y'all. Love you, water signs. Sorry for calling you air signs earlier. All right. Bye.